indigenous people of Biafra. He is the director of Radio Biafra and Heart Television, the commander of the armies of Biafra, and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Machineke. Today, just as I told you, exactly 8.30 Biafra land time, I'm going to interview one of the esteemed um, uh, members of the Directorate of State. Uh, he is the European rep, and I will bring him in to introduce himself fully, but we know him with Mazi Abani Austin. Mazi, can you hear me? Yes, Mazi. Good morning from here. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Please, can you uh, introduce yourself fully to Bia France and Great Bia France? About memory, maybe you or whatever. I hope I'm coming out clear. All and clear, all and clear. Okay. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to Bia France all over the world, uh, depending on your time zone. Um, Welcome to another special edition of Radio Biafra House and Service. Uh, it's always our duty, our joy to keep informing our people and educating them, preparing their mind for what is to come and what is already here. My name is Mazi Austin Abanyi. I come from Amike. Amike Juku is in all the province of Biafra land. And uh, by the grace of Jukko Kabiyama, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the position of European representative and member of DOS. Ndewo Machinik. Ndewo Mazi, Ndewo. I want to quit you. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. Uh, Bia France and friends of Bia France, um, with me here today uh, is the European rep. Just as he has introduced himself, we want to look to, into issues concerning us, things that are happening, and things, how we are preparing for other things. For you to know that indeed the DOS are with you and they are working uh, tirelessly there and night uh, to make sure that what you want comes to pass. Not any other thing, but that thing you are believing, that thing you have in mind. is not easy for me to get him, but... To prove to you that indeed all of them are down to earth, they are loyal, they are humble, working very hard as a servant to make sure that the best of it kind come out. That is why he was be able to eke out a little time he has for him to be in this program. So I would like us to be appreciating this kind of thing whenever it happens because it's not easy. You that may be listening, you may not uh, 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 pay such sacrifice if it is on your side. So that is what I would say. Let's go straight to the, to the point. Um, you are the European representative and also a member of the Directorate of State. Um, our court case is coming. We'll say, let's say, in one month time, 18, 19, 20, thereabout. Um, is there any information or whatever you have in your disposal that is good for us to let Bia France know how we are preparing for that case? Yes, um, Mazi, thank you so much for this question. Uh, as you all know, the difference, um, since our leader was uh, kidnapped in Kenya and extraordinary detention to Nigeria, our job, our task, and our duties in the Directed of State and some other uh, people doing the right thing, because uh, it's not only the U.S. are working, but I'm speaking from what I know and from what I have seen. We are working tirelessly, relentlessly, and we are indefatigable in making sure that our leader is released unconditionally. Um, he is going to court. Our legal team have been doing marvelously well. Um, there are other means that we are also working to see that our leader is released. It's not only legal. That's what everybody should bear in mind. Because Nigeria is a lawless country. That is very clear to every one of us. For that reason, we are not putting all our eggs in one basket. We are not waiting uh, for them to say, okay, we have released him. We are trying other means. There are different ways and different means to kill a rat. And that's what we are doing. So he is going to court. We are preparing for that. All I want to ask the friends to do is to pray. Pray 
pray for our leader, pray for the uh, leadership of IPOB, and pray for Biafrans in Biafra land, because they are in the war front. Pray for all of these people, and ask you call Kabiama to let justice be done. Justice needs to be done because we have died enough. They have killed us since 1945 till date, and ongoing. For that reason, uh, we are doing everything we can to ensure that our people are free, because that is why we were born in the first place, to ensure that Biafra is restored. In our time, we are not going to be quit this particular struggle to our generation, which is to come. We, this generation, is going to re re restore Biafra under the watch and leadership of Wayne Dumas in Namdekan. So we need to pray for him and pray for the leadership and pray for all Biafrans while we do the needful so, and the all necessary uh, things that need to be done, leaving no stone unturned to ensure that he's released very, very soon. Thank you, Mas. Thank you very much, Mezi. Um, this is um, this is very clear for the whole world to know and the Biafrans to know that indeed the DOS is working very hard for the unconditional release of our leader because he did nothing wrong. And that will take me to this question uh, because uh, what happened is that our leader was kidnapped in Kenya and later on it was uh, extradited to the Zoological Republic, uh, which is um, against the international law, is against the international law. And we heard that um, uh, IPOB, their friends have taken a legal means against all these things. And as well, he is a British citizen as well. All these things put together, according to some certain explanation, we discovered that uh, we had that uh, he has nothing to nothing to question with the zoo, nothing to answer. There's no answer for the zoo. Uh, presently, what I would like you to explain to us, based on all these things, are all these legal means or legal terms actions we took against the zoo? Are they still going on? Do you have anything to explain to us regarding all this, like the one in Kenya, the one in U, um, um, UK, and the one in US? Do you have anything uh, that is possible for Biafra, for people, for public consumption, for Biafrans to know? Uh, yes, thank you, Mazi, for the question. Um, as you know, uh, we are not going to divulge everything we know about this this case, uh, especially about what our legal teams are doing to ensure that he is released. But all I want to say is that uh, there is a, a very, very great pressure on Nigeria to release our leader from all angles, from the international community, because he has not committed any crime known to law. No crime whatsoever committed known to law. The, what our leader is doing or what he has been doing, um, this self-determination, it is a legal right for every human being on earth. You have the right to agitate. And our leader explained it once, that when a woman is pregnant, when the time for the child to be delivered comes, the child will begin to agitate until it is delivered. So agitation is a natural right to every human being. So that's why they don't have anything against him. Remember when they abducted him in 2015 and they incarcerated him in Abuja? It was the same thing. They had no case against him. Though they were, they kept him there then willing to look for evidence uh, to, you know, to, to, to co condemn him. And uh, they, they went as far as they uh, were going to call a uh, masked uh, witnesses who will come to testify against him without showing their face. And we said, no, if you know that he has done anything wrong, look at him in the eyes and tell him, this is what you have done, and I was a witness to that. So they couldn't do that. Now, the same thing has happened. They quickly went to Kenya to um, you know, force him uh, unconsciously back to for the zoo where he has no citizenship as, as we speak namde khan has no nigerian citizenship as we speak he is a british citizen and a biafran they brought him where he does not belong and then they start uh, going to search for evidence to how to uh, prosecute him 
they don't have anything as we speak. They kept him there just for them to uh, relax because Nam Dekan has um, given Nigeria the nightmare of their life by revealing only the truth. That's why he said, I am going to destroy the zoo only with the truth. And that truth is so bitter. The whole, the whole world has been a witness to what is going on in Nigeria. The lawlessness, the impunity, the bloodshed, the genocide, and the Islamization agenda they are planning, trying to implement all over Nigeria. We have made sure from the Western world here that the whole world has seen Nigeria as truly as it is a rogue nation that is supposed not to exist in the first place. They kept our leader there for them to, you know, have a kind of breathing space to see if they are going to uh, fasten their Islamization agenda and implement it before they may let him go. But we are telling them that, no, they are dead on arrival. The, the Nigerian matter has been, uh, what you call, saturated all over the world. It is saturated. There is nothing else they can do to save Nigeria. Nigeria is plunging very speedily into the abyss. And no one, nobody, born a woman, can save Nigeria from disintegrating. This is very, very imminent. And keeping our leader there is just uh, delaying uh, what is to be for Nigeria. But come what may, it is going to happen because Chukwa Kabiyama, Premier Nile Elohim that we worship, has ordained that Biafra must come and Nigeria should cease to exist. Our leader is going to court, but they don't have anything to um, judge him about. That's why they are delaying him. So there is nothing. Um, they have against him. That's why they are delaying him for this simple reason that they may uh, keep him silent for a while and do what they have planned to do because he is a, a thorn in their skin as we speak. Yeah, Roman. Yeah, Roman. So uh, what I want to understand from this is that um, I know that um, um, there are things that are not supposed that is not made for public consumption. Presently, regarding the court case, the international, the one in Kenya, UK, US, but you are assuring us that DOS are on it. That's what I just want to get from you as beer friends are listening, that DOS are on top of it and things are happening regarding that. I don't know if I'm clear with my question. Yes, yes, Mars, you are clear, you are clear. Um, like I said, we are not going to divulge all the legal uh, plans and the strategies that we are going to implement, but all I say is that there is a great pressure from the U.S., from the uh, U.K., from the European Union, from the United Nations, uh, for Nigeria to let our leader go because he committed no crime done to man. So all we are doing in the U.S. is to ensure that Nigeria is receiving it hot from all angles, both media, both legal, both uh, diplomatic, both spiritual, we are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that Nigeria doesn't have a breathing space until you let our leader go. Exactly. They will. They will. All right. Um, come to this one now. People have been asking and calling, uh, putting it, uh, why is it that there is no uh, protest going on? And as the uh, European rep, you are the head of the IPOB in Europe. And uh, no matter how, no matter how powerful America is, Europe still remains the heart of the planet Earth. And if you can get Europe, you can get America and all those things. Um, coming to protest now, uh, is there any special arrangement or why is it that Europe have not moved, uh, IPOB in Europe have not swing into protest uh, just like before or as it happened in 20? Uh, 16, there about, and 17. I don't know anything you can tell us regarding that. Because people have been calling and uh, requesting, asking why. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Mars. That's an interesting one again. Um, first of all, I want to say this. We have learned from history. And anyone who fails to learn from history, history is going to repeat itself. And it's going to be foolish of anyone to let history repeat itself again. 
uh, we have learned our lesson from what happened between 2015 to 2017 when our leader was also incarcerated and later uh, buried um, with, uh, with stringent condition. Okay. And we went on protests all over the Afro land. We went to do protests all over the world. But it happened that in the Afro land, thousands of our people were, um, you know, shot dead in cold blood by the zoo, uh, you know, combined forces. This is uh, on record. This is on record. Everybody's aware of what I'm saying. But our people were killed a lot. It nature, state, in Ebony, in Enugu, in Oka, everywhere, nowhere. They were killed everywhere. Even even in the, in the riverian areas. Whenever they come out to protest with their flags, without any arms, only with flags and plaquettes, they were shot dead because of the name Biafra. And the directorate of says we have said in our meetings that we are not going to make the same mistake that we made uh, at the beginning because that was uh, that was our first experience um, when our leader was uh, first incarcerated and all we did was to send people on protest and you get criticism from everywhere and you you you're sending uh, the youth uh, to be killed you sending the youth out to be killed you sending the youth out we said no we don't want to you do the same thing again. We are going to tackle the zoo differently this time. And it is very, very effective. If you, anyone who is harnessed to him or herself, uh, can see that our strategy this time is very, very effective. We said, instead of but going to protest... Hold it, Mazi. Hold it, Mazi. I'm talking yes. about uh, protests, those in diaspora, not... At in, in, the, in diaspora, yes. In diaspora, we have protested in diaspora. I'm coming. I'm just trying to build my, my statement. We have protested in, in diaspora since our leader was an uh, extraordinary rendition from Kent to Nigeria. Europe has been on protest. It's on record. Uh, even, uh, I'm sure, America and, and Asia, but Europe mostly... Uh, as, as, as has been the pattern of this struggle, Europe has always done the need for, uh, even setting the pace for other continents to, to emulate. We have done, every country in Europe has gone to protest more than two or three or four times. UK has gone more than that. Germany, Holland, uh, Italy, even well, Switzerland. Do you, do you think we don't uh, need uh, more than that? Is that one enough? based on uh, how stubborn zoo is uh, our, our protest our protest is always strategic we are not just protesting for protest sake we have aims of what we want to achieve when you look back to the protest we we organized and implemented in 2015 16 17 in the western world we were many times in the european union to to bring our case we meet them face to face brought our matter to them. We went to the United Nations in Geneva. We met them face to face, introduced to them what was going on in the Afro land. The genocide and the ethnic cleansing by the zoo uh, combined forces and the Islamization agenda that was carried out um, uh, against the indigenous people in the, of the land. Uh, it is very certain that the European Union, the, 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 the United Nations and the UK and the United States of America, they are all aware of what is going on in our, in our, in our country, in our, in our land. And you ask yourself, what has been the fruit of that particular level that we, that we have, um, that we have done between 2015 till now? Our leader have told us many times in the broadcast that these people, their best interest is the economic ties they have with the zoo. The zoo gives them money. The zoo gives them free oil. The, the zoo drive everything drivable to ensure that every effort we are making will not yield fruit in that, in that line. Okay? The zoo is bribing everywhere we have gone to submit our letter, everywhere we have gone to make our case. The zoo will go there and close everything with money. Uh, with even um, a signing contract, oil contract with them, maybe for free. That's what we have found out. So we are going to, any protest we are going to go again, will be targeted on particular place 
and that will be delivered and then we will stop. We are not going to protesting round the clock uh, because we, we don't want to protest to protest, uh, but we want to protest for a particular uh, strategic uh, plan that we want to make uh, achieve uh, regarding uh, the plight of our leader and the plight of Biafras in general. There we so you are trying to let us know that there are some strategic uh, plans for protests now it's not going to just be like before that will just protect keep on protecting and all those things mostly in europe that's what you are trying exactly. to do exactly okay do you, exactly. uh, some of the exactly. strategies is it possible to for you to air it or maybe explain is it possible see it's going to be like this or this way or at a particular time or whatever is it possible Yes, the, the director of state is uh, looking at it again. Um, if uh, the time comes, like I said, it, it has to be prompted by, by a special um, information that we are going to receive. That is, this is now the time to go and protest, and that protest should be channeled to this particular place and um, this particular place. And when that is done, we are going to go again. Um, People want to go to protest, even in Biafra, like they want to go to protest. But like I told you, we don't want to protest for protest sake. We want to make sure that we achieve a particular goal when we go out to protest. And that will uh, be happening again when the time comes. Then even uh, we want our leader to be released. The protest is not even the issue here. Our leader is coming out very soon. And that will be no more needed um, uh, per se. Uh, I know that we are still um, we are still uh, looking for our, our freedom. We are still... Um, asking for referendum, uh, but the most important thing now, for, for the meantime, for the short term, we want to ensure that our leader is released. And when he comes out, we are going to re-traditize um, how we are going to implement the issue of referendum. But I'll tell you, DOS is doing everything humanly possible to ensure that even when the, the time for protest is, is here, we are going to go again. If there is any other thing we are going to do, because I, I don't want to be revealing everything that we are doing. That's what the enemies want us to do, so that they can go and, uh, you know, put the, a spanner in the wheel of progress on what we are doing. We don't want to do that. Our leader has said it. When you tell them we are doing this, they said you are, you are talking too much. If you don't tell them, they are said you are not carrying them along. So that's why we are trying to find the balance on what to tell our people and what not to tell them. But... To be rest assured, we are working behind the scene relentlessly to ensure that our goals are achieved in the in the in the short shortest possible time. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you very much. Come to your office now as the European Rep. Uh, based on some of these challenges, will I call it challenges? Uh, since uh, after the abduction of our leader, a lot of things pops out. Uh, division, this, that. This is just like internal something. Uh, what are the challenges you have been facing? Uh, it's such a thing, we know that it's no much in the American uh, side. Uh, you facing such challenge within your area as the European uh, rep? Yes, Marzi. Um, uh, it, it, it cannot happen without, uh, you know, uh, touching other, other continents as well, especially in Europe. We, we want to talk about, well, before I answer your question, let me just say this. Our people are political myopic politically blind. Uh, what happened now uh, is very, very um, clear, an indication uh, that why we have been politically marginalized in this world Nigeria as a people. Our people, generally our people are politically blind and inept. Okay, let me, let me expand here. Our leader, when he started, he, he was, you know, calling our people, uh, the people are buying and selling, buying and selling. That is the fact. That is the fact. He started educating us, opening our eyes in the line of politics. And when we, we all rose up and became interested in what he was saying, we started learning. We started learning. Most of us have learned a great deal of lessons from what our leader has been preaching and trying to bring across to Biafra. But now, what happened in this uh, last few months when our leader was uh, abducted and uh, and uh, and the uh, extraordinary revision to, to Nigeria from Kenya, it shows you that most Biafrans, or I can say uh, some percentage, a fraction of Biafrans, have learned nothing from everything our leader has been teaching us. They have learned nothing because 
Um, you you know that our leader is the one you want to follow to get Biafra restored. He has sacrificed anything and everything possible. He has, you know, sacrificed his, his family, his life, and everything, even his parents. Now, we had a problem a few months. All of, most of the people are running away to another side, abandoning what our leader has set in place. The directorate of state that has been the backbone of this struggle, that has managed this, the Biafra Restoration Project from day to day. Our leader was incarcerated in 2015. The directorate of state worked tirelessly until he was released. Now, when the Zoo military and their allies came to Afaru in 2017, September to be precise, to kill our leader, and God so can, he managed to escape, and they killed more than 28 people, plus other people they killed even on their way to Afaru Those ones are not counted for. There were more than 100 people who were killed in their way to Afaru we are just counting on the ones that they killed in our leader's compound. They killed more than 100 that are on their way uh, going to Afaruku. So after that, our leader escaped. The directorate of state had stayed together and held this struggle together, carried the struggle along, making sure every step that our leader took, wherever he was, when he was receiving, receiving treatment, when he started his trip to Israel, the Directorate of State has been there with him, and we made sure that he came to Israel safely. And we did not betray him, we did not uh, hijack the struggle, we did not take money from the zoo, and our leader came came out, and he made a special broadcast to thank the Directorate of State, and all the Afan that stood first and stood firm to, to ensure that uh, the struggle was kept afloat and not derailed. Okay. Now, why on earth now that our leader had a problem that the DOS will not go and betray him or go and uh, and and collect bribe or whatever they call it uh, from from the zoo or from whoever? Why on earth can DOS do that? So I wonder why some of our people are so gullible. Even those you think that are that have common sense, you know, it became very clear to me that common sense is not common. Some of them don't have it at all. You listen to gossips. Our leader said that uh, their friends are good in gossip. I didn't believe it until now. Even men, they are gossiping more than women. You listening to people who came to destroy what our leader has set in place. Those who were responsible for his extraordinary rendition from care to Nigeria. Those who beat in the bush and come out in the world and say who beat in the bush. Those people that caused the problem that happened to him are the ones coming out to say, and the U.S. have done this, the U.S. have done that, and people were listening to them, giving them attention, even contributing money for them to go and kill our leader. The money you are contributing to a place that is not under the leadership of Nam Dekano, not under the watch of Chick Edusium, the head of directorate, any money you contribute to any other group is against our leader's freedom. If you don't know it, put it in your record right now. Put it down in your diary that any money you contribute to show that you are you are supporting USN or you are supporting whoever you are supporting, that money is a money that will be used to destroy what our leader has put in place. And Chukwu Kabiama will never ever forgive anybody, be you man or woman, who has ignored the truth and followed lies. You know, lies are very sweet. People are uh, rushing for listening to gossips and um, U.S. has done this, they have done that. We have come out, out on air many times, several times, to tell the Afghans that every decision that the D.O.S. has made, every announcement, everything we have done is, you know, directed by our leader, Martin Ambikan. Whether you think it's correct or not correct, it is from him. And as long as he is alive, we are going to be taking directive from him because he is still our leader. We can never abandon him in this short time that he has problem after he has done everything for us, sacrificed everything. And he has, you know, said it himself that we are going to disappoint him and he's not going to disappoint us. And we want to make sure that 
we are not going to be among those that disappoint our leader. So anybody who is kicking against the Directorate of State is kicking against Nam Dikano. If you are contributing money to another place, you are contributing money to decimate and to destroy what our leader has set in place. That is what I want to tell our, our people, dear friends, who are listening to me right now. So the DOS is working with Nam Dekan, who is our leader, and whose voice we all had before we came out to uh, embrace this struggle. And when he woke us up from our slumber, now we cannot abandon him. Nobody from nowhere can come and destroy what our leader has put together as long as we stay alive. As long as the director of state members are alive, it can never happen. That's what I want to say now, Mazi. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mazi. I know time is not on our side, but before you go, just in one minute, as you wrap it up, uh, on a positive side, um, I want to ask you this question, then you use it to wrap up. Uh, we discovered that this uh, division is mm, just mostly in America. This problem uh, in Europe, we didn't see it much. I don't know uh, how do you manage to handle it or what is it that you did from your own uh, as, uh, leadership that make it not to escalate in Europe just as it is in America so that other people may learn one or two things from you. We just use it to round up the program because time is no more on your side. Yes, Mars. Uh, the same put uh, is that in Europe you have uh, what you call uh, old members of IP, pioneer members. Most of them are pioneer members. Okay, every pioneer member of IPOP has experienced what happened between 2015 to 2017, and they have seen what the DOS has done throughout this time to ensure that our leader is released. Those people, you can never shake them. They have solid foundation in, in the struggle. The people that have problem are those who joined between 2019 to 2021. Those people, they have, their foundation is not built on the rock. It's built on sand. So what I do in Europe is education. I educate our people. Those who have Fashions. I am always open to take off, even from floor members. I don't restrict my calls to my national coordinators. Floor members who have problems, who have confusion, who have questions, I will, I will answer their calls and give them explanation as to why we are doing what we are doing. Education is the key. And then, uh, you know, making sure that those that are in this struggle, um, they are under the spirit of Biafra. If you join this struggle without the spirit of Biafra, you can never understand where we are going and where we are coming from. And everything we do will not rhyme with your own ideology. The Biafra struggle is a spiritual movement and therefore is not for everyone. Only those spiritually inclined will understand what we are doing and will stand firm in times of, of, of this uh, uh, turmoil that we, are, that we are in. But I want to assure you that Europe is intact. The few gullibles we have, the, 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 like I told you, those who joined later and who were just interested in listening to gossips, uh, we, when we find them, we will, we will uh, try to, you know, based on them and uh, to know why they are writing or doing what they are doing. Uh, after that, some of them will learn. And those who fail to learn, we will show them the door. They will go. Because we don't need confusion this time. We want to concentrate on the core issue of this struggle, which is to release our leader. And again, in the long term, to get Biafra restora uh, restoration um, successfully done, as we all have been working uh, assiduously to do. So we are educating our people. We are uh, answering their questions. We are, um, you know, directing them and making sure that we don't have any weak uh, leadership. For example, in the countries where we have national coordinators and the uh, zonal coordinators, we make sure that everyone that takes that office is under age and that person is um, baptized by the spirit of Biafra. Because if the leader is not, is not well grounded in what we are doing, the followers will all fall apart. So the leadership we have in Europe, being with the national, regional, and unit coordinators, and all the uh, principal officers we have, 
I will tell you that 99% of them are spiritually inclined. That's why Europe is intact, and Europe will continue to be intact and continue to ensure that Biafra is returned uh, in no distant time. Thank you so much, Mazi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Abanyi. Austin, the European rep, for coming. And I believe that uh, next time we will invite you, you will come. We really enjoy at least believe that Biafrans have learned one or two things. The formula you use to make sure that the uh, Europe is calm and is not in chaos, just as it is in America. And also the strategies that are coming out for the protests that people will know. It's, just, it's not just to take flag and be moving about, uh, doing something Biafra. At the end of the day, it yields nothing but to protest on a strategic place and strategic time that will yield the fruit. Thank you very much for this lecture. I believe that next time when we we'll call you, you will as well come to answer us. Thank you for bringing out, uh, taking out your time and be with us. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody who is humanly uh, a sane will go to destroy what he or herself has, has uh, contributed in, in setting, in setting uh, up. You know, So let us not destroy what we have built by our own hands. Let us continue to work together as one family and uh, Biafra is going to be restored and our leader is going to be released that is very very sure what I'm tell telling Biafra so I want to pray that you them will continue to guide our leader guide all Biafrans and protect us in everything we are doing we shall all live to see Biafra and what is happening now will just be a history I remain Mazi Austin Abayim the European rep they will they will Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And I believe um, next time when we'll invite you, you will as well take your time and come and join us. Thank you. Thank you. This is Radio Biafra as a service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Oyen Dumazin Namdekano Hamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Is the director of Radio Biafra and her television, the commander of the armies of Biafra, the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leading, the person of Wachineke. It's just a brief interview from one of the members of the Directorate of State who is in the capacity of the European Rep, Mazi Austin Abanyi. And um, if you are following up, uh, you hear the questions being thrown to him, mostly the critical area where people have been asking on protests and protests to tell you how these, our DOS are very intelligent and knowledgeable, how they are putting things. It is not just you protest at the end of the day, it comes out, people take picture and whatever, not hitting the target. The protest is going to be on strategic places and uh, 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 at a strategic time where it will yield positive impact to what we are doing.